So then, how hard should you push or pull when performing overcoming isometrics? The answer is as hard as you freaking can. But let's dive into the details to understand why and how to maximize your isometric training. Your effort on isometrics can be measured in two ways. One, subjective effort, or how hard you feel you're pushing. And two, MVC, the percentage of your maximum force that you can generate. According to Paul Wade's isometric manual, studies have shown that you don't need to use 100% maximum force during iso holds to achieve decent strength gains. In one study by Hedinger, it was noted that excellent strength gains occur beyond 40 to 50% of maximal effort. However, aiming for 100% MVC is recommended because the intensity of the tension and the strength training benefits are intertwined. The harder you push, the more you get out of it, regardless of whether you're aiming for hypertrophy or strength holds. Even if studies suggest gains can be achieved at lower effort levels, giving 100% effort trains your mind and body to fire on all cylinders, leading to better results over time. Just like in traditional weightlifting, the effort you put into each isometric session directly correlates with your results. If your goal is to complete three sets of 10 reps on the bench press at 185 pounds, doing three sets of eight because you're tired won't yield the same results as pushing through to complete all 10 reps. The same principle applies to isometric training. Take a look at this graph and imagine it. The top line represents 80 to 100% effort. The bottom line represents 40 to 60% effort. On the left axis, we have strength increase and on the bottom, time. Notice that at 80% to 100% effort, there's a rapid increase in strength, peaking around five to six seconds, followed by a slow decrease. At 40 to 60% effort, the strength increase is slower and more gradual. This illustrates why maximum tension produces the best results in strength training. When performing isometrics, whether for hypertrophy or strength, always push or pull against the handle as hard as possible. Maximum effort leads to maximum results. This approach ensures your training methods aren't just a passing fad, but rather a productive and incredibly effective part of your workout. By the way, you remember a few minutes ago us mentioning MVC or maximum voluntary contraction? We cover that topic in an incredible detail. So if you'd like to become more knowledgeable on the subject, check out our video on it here and we'll see you there.